Howdy, howdy again, folks. We're right here next to my tires, my uh, hubcaps, my wheels, so forth. All of this stuff right here, this is what's called the running gear, okay? I want to walk you through our running gear on the go play. The name of the game here, folks, is all about ease of maintenance, right? Because the running gear uh, is it, it, it's compiled of a lot of different components that need routine maintenance in order to operate at their utmost. So come a little bit closer. We're going to talk a little bit about our wheel hubs, okay? This is a wheel hub. We opted in for what's called an easy lube, uh, easy lube hubs, okay, is what they're called. Why do they call them easy lube hubs? Well, let me show you. Take this little nipple right here, pop it off, and there we go. I've got full access to my actual wheel hub here where I get a little grease zerk and I squirt in my, my lubricant every, what, three to 5,000 miles. That's what's considered proper maintenance. And what's great about this is I don't, it doesn't require complete disassembly of my wheel, right, and my hub and so forth in order to get everything properly greased and so forth. So very easy way to perform routine maintenance, uh, crucial maintenance, so that your machine's operating at its utmost. Easy lube hubs, it's a great feature. Alrighty folks, another great feature on the GoPlay running gear are our forward self-adjusting brakes, okay? Now, why these things are great, they don't require any specialized equipment for routine maintenance. They don't require you to have to take your, your unit into a shop to get the brakes worked on as far as routine maintenance goes, and they don't require disassembly, okay? Very convenient uh, routine maintenance occurs here being self-adjusting, self okay? And what that means is over time, the brake pads are going to slightly adjust themselves by moving forward ever so slightly to maintain even wear of the pads over time. This way you don't run into any chucking, you don't run into any you know, um, awkward movements you know, due to uh, uneven brake wear on your pad. So it's a great feature as far as routine maintenance, longevity, it's also safe. All right, folks, another thing you might notice are green caps on my air inlets right there. That indicates that this tire is actually filled with nitrogen instead of oxygen. Nitrogen being a thicker molecule means that my PSI is going to stay much more robust over time and I'm going to run far less likelihood of any sort of air leakage being, a, being that we're using a larger molecule here with nitrogen filled tires instead of oxygen. Another great benefit of nitrogen versus oxygen is that there's far less molecule variation with, uh, with uh, changes in elevation and temperature. Pardon for the terrible shot folks, but uh, we're almost done with this little wheel area, but I don't know if you've got a good a good uh, vantage point, but if you can hear that, what I'm knocking on is a galvanized steel wheel well. And that's a huge plus, folks. Uh, a lot of units nowadays are, are not coming with galvanized steel wheel wells because manufacturers are really trying to hit price points, so they're decontenting, right? They're, rem they're removing critical components uh, that, uh, that our viewers, you know, aren't prone to see with the naked eye simply because they're not looking for them. But the galvanized steel wheel well is a critical feature because in the, amid, in the event of a blowout, right, you're not just going to lose your tire, especially if you don't have a good galvanized steel wheel well to protect uh, the interior of, of your coach, to protect your underbelly. Uh, but that's what this guy does. That's the purpose it serves is to protect uh, your coach in the event of a blowout so that the wires and the rubber and all that don't rip up your coach and get into the interior and then destroy everything else. And folks, one more note, if so facto, uh, your unit does not come equipped with a galvanized steel well. Number one, that's gonna drastically uh, affect your trade-in value, especially should you ever experience any type of blowout on the road. That's one of the first areas that we as a dealer will always look on a coach when we take something in on trade. We get in, we look at the underbelly, is it enclosed? We look at the wheel wells, are they protected with galvanized steel? If not, has the unit sustained a blowout and what kind of damage has the unit sustained because of that blowout. So very important, important feature be sure to look for. Well, hello! Fan to meet you here. Uh, last but not least, folks, when it comes to our running gear, we opted in for Dexter axles. Now, Dexter Axles has a long time in the RV industry. They've been supplying axle parts and components for the better part of 50 years. Uh, tried and true name in the industry. That's why we chose them. Uh, they have a vast uh, vendor network, which means they're much easier to get parts for. They're much easier to get service. And that's primarily the reason why we went with Dexter Axles. On top of the name itself, we opted in for the more robust. These are 3,500 pound rated axles. 
and that weight rating is standard across all of our go plays we're using 3500 pound dexter axles on everything across the board so you've got great uh, versatility should you want to venture off road now we wouldn't recommend going over rocks rills and woods in this thing but you can, you can definitely get up to the river's edge no problem uh and get your cargo there safe and sound 